Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to create an invoice. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, so in this video, I want to walk you through, if you're just starting to use QuickBooks, how to create an invoice. Now, one very important thing that you need to know is an invoice in QuickBooks is something that you bill for that you're going to get paid for later. Okay. So if you do work for a customer or you, you know, let's say you sell something and deliver it and you're going to bill for it and they have time to pay for it. So let's say you give them 10 days, 15, 30 days, whatever to pay that bill, that invoice that you created, then that's when you're going to create an invoice in QuickBooks. Okay. If it's something that they're paying for immediately, in general, you're going to create a sales receipt in QuickBooks. So there is a difference between a sales receipt and an invoice. And it's very important to distinguish between the two uh, as you get started with QuickBooks. Okay. So in this video, we're going to go through an invoice. And again, that is when you give a customer a certain amount of time to pay you. Whatever amount of time that is, you're going to give them an invoice and then they can pay that invoice. Okay. So we're on the home screen here and you'll notice that if you, you know, you go through uh, the flow charts here and you're going to see down here under customers, there is an option here that says create invoices. Okay. So you can click this to create an invoice or you can go up to this customers drop down menu right up here and you're going to see this option create invoices so if i click on create invoices you see here that it's going to bring up a form this is what's called a form in quickbooks and the form uh, is made to look like what it would look like if you had a piece of paper okay so in general this looks like an invoice that you might have on a piece of paper that you would give to a customer, but in this case, it is electronic and it's in QuickBooks. All right, so let's walk through this a little bit here. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta enter the customer. Okay, so what customer or what job you can see there is this invoice for? All right, so let's say that I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna pick uh, this invoice is for Brad Lamb, okay? And then we have the class. Okay, so this is for what's called class tracking in QuickBooks. And that is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but I do have other tutorials on my QuickBooks channel uh, about class tracking. Okay, so we're going to leave that blank for now. And then the template. All right, so you can set up various templates uh, and customize them for your business. Okay. So assume we're going to use the Rockcastle invoice and we're going to put in the date. So let's say this is December 15th. You're going to put in the date you're creating the invoice and you're going to put in the invoice number. All right. Now in QuickBooks, uh, when you put in an invoice number, so let's say you start with 1000 or 100 or even one, every time you create another invoice, it's going to sequentially put in the next number. All right. So if I save this one and did another one, the next one would be 1101. All right. So if you have a custom system, you can type in that invoice number there. So we're going to leave that as 1100 and then bill to Brad Lamb. And it's got his information put in and that comes from the customer center. Now, in this case, there is no ship to address because we're not shipping anything. Uh, but you can also put this in the customer center. Okay. Uh, terms are going to be net 30. And so the due date is going to be January 14th. And again, you can change this. You can click this drop down and you can see the different options. And you can even add new and create your own terms. Okay. So now the next thing, the important thing that we're going to do here is you have to choose the item that you're billing for. Now, this comes into play in what's called your item list. This is your item list, and this is what you generally bill for in your business. So you can see we've got service, we've got inventory parts, we've got non-inventory parts, all sorts of things here. So let's say that we had some blueprints uh, that we did, and we need to bill for these. So we're going to go over here. It, it, the, you know, the default description is blueprints, and we're going to say, you know, three sets of house whoops, got a couple too many S's there. And let's see, house blueprints. Okay, 
So I'm going to tab over and then I'm going to say my quantity. Okay, my quantity, we're going to say three because we had three sets. All right, now the rate, you can define this in the item list. In this particular item, the rate is zero. So we're going to say that it's $175. And so the amount is $525. All right, now this is a non-taxable transaction. So in this particular example, this is not a taxable transaction. That means sales tax. All right, so if it was taxable, you can change it in the item or you can change that here. You can say it's taxable. And if I do that, you're going to see down here that now it charges sales tax to this San Tomas city or county, whatever it is, at 7.75%. All right. So again, that depends on your local jurisdiction and if you have sales tax on certain transactions. We're going to say it's not taxable. All right. So you see down here that the total uh, is 525 and the balance due is 525. Okay. Now, if you want to put a customer message down here, you can click this and say all work is complete. You can create your own. Thank you for your business. We'll say thank you for your business. And then if you want an internal memo, you can have an internal memo here. Now you see here this customer tax code. Now this was in general, this customer is taxable. All right. So we do have to charge sales tax on this customer, but it is a non-taxable type of service that we are providing the, the customer. Okay. So in general, so there's sales tax is a little bit beyond this video, uh, but there is a whole setup to sales tax where you're going to set it up for that customer and then also set it up for your various services. Okay. All right. So everything looks set. We should be good and go good to go. So uh, one other thing, if you look up here, you're going to see that you can print this later or you can email this later. All right. Or if you wanted to, you can print this right now and send it or you can email it right now. Now, if you do print later or email later, QuickBooks will put this into a queue. Uh, if you're doing multiple invoices, you can print them all at once. You can email them all at once. Uh, or you can just save and close, or you can save and new, which means you're going to do another one. So in this case, we're going to say save and close, and it's going to save that invoice. And now we have created the invoice that, you know, again, if you're going to print or email, you're going to send it to the customer. And now this will be recorded as what's called an accounts receivable in QuickBooks. That means that the customer owes you money and you will have to receive that money from the customer and offset it against the invoice. All right, so those are the basics of creating an invoice in QuickBooks 2021. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below and also head over to the QuickBooks University. Where I've got the full training tutorials there and I answer your questions. That website is qbuniversity.org.